The cheers and the tears flowed freely across the ice. It was a moment this team and their supporters had fought hard to see. Yet victory looked less certain just a few hours earlier. Team members may be aware that Minot had beaten them in every game this season. Other team members found escape in their music, and some with just being together. Support for the team has been building. Back home, the mayor sends a message. Do your very best, hold your heads high, and we uh, know you're going to be victorious. The team does their final preparations in anticipation of today's game. In the stands, any family members able to make it are here. Even those unable to make it send support. Like one family stuck on the highway 160 kilometers away from the arena. Go Cougars! Woo! Meanwhile, the coach vowed no changes to his plan. Uh, we stressed all year is uh, to become a team and uh, and it took some work uh, you know to get them to all buy in and uh, probably by Christmas time uh, it it had sunk in that uh, you know what uh, he's not joking around when he talks about team then in the dressing room a few minutes later Bertone speaks to his players one more time this is brand new season here brand new brand new ladies. brand new okay all right, one game, winner take all. Okay, you deserve to be here. You worked hard to get here. You're here. All right. So you believe, believe in yourselves. Play your brand of hockey. Stay out of the box. Five on five. Play with them all day long. All day long. We watched the videos. We seen we could play with them. All day long. Okay? You deserve this. Soon enough, 12 noon had arrived. The team faced their final test. There was a different feeling in the air inside the Comerica Center here in Frisco, Texas. The Cougars came into Saturday's matchup with a 4-0 record, just one win away from their first national championship. The Cougars looked across the ice at their toughest opponent yet, the Minot State University Beavers, the last team standing in their way of a national championship. The tension in the air couldn't be contained for this one. As soon as the puck dropped, it was apparent that the Cougars would have no trouble finding their legs. A quick shot from the Beavers' offense 12 minutes into the game narrowly misses the net, keeping the score tied at 0-0. Marley Quinnell once again showed why she's the starter, making a multitude of beautiful saves in the first. The Cougars' power play wasted no time getting things rolling. Simone Turner-Cummer puts one past the goalie, with Mariah McHugh picking up the assist. Two power plays and a goal in the first gave the Cougars the confidence they were looking for heading into the second. A big collision starts off the second. Thankfully, no one is injured. The physical play didn't stop there. Sam Christensen takes a penalty off a big hit, giving the Cougars penalty kill their chance to go to work. The Cougars defense fight off a close chance to keep the game at 1-0 to end the second. Victory was almost within reach for the Cougars. Just 15 minutes remained in the game and they'd be national champions. Marley Quinnell makes it look easy with a huge stop off a chance from Minot, keeping the crowd on the edge of their seats. Adding to the excitement, number 16, Haley Anderson almost makes it two, but can't quite sneak it past the Minot goaltender. 2.21 left in the third, and it became clear that the Cougars were going to pull it off. A 5-on-3 power play to end the game had everyone watching in a frenzy. Coach Tony Bertone went in today's game like any other, with teamwork, respect, and hard work. They believe in each other, 
and they support each other and uh, then they, they play a great fun brand of hockey to watch I'll tell you. Out in the hall, one by one, the players emerge to meet their families. Number one, maybe. <laughs> Simone Turner Cummer scored the only goal in the game and was named tournament most valuable player. For everyone here, the joy of winning seemed overwhelming. Uh, I think it's indescribable right now. Amazing. I have absolutely no words, honestly. No, we're very close-knit, and yeah, I think that's what helped us. I just think we played the best that we can, and we used this big ice in a good way. We spread out, and we kept on them the whole time. Honestly, I think this year we came together, and we played with class, and we played as a team, and no one could have done this without each other, so it was honestly just a team win here. It's pretty surreal has, since they have um, come out, out on top the other games and we finally beat them when it mattered. I feel like um, spending time off of the ice and getting to know each other, doing activities together, um, I feel like that's definitely helped our relationships on the ice and I feel like that helps communication on and off and I feel like that's what got us this win. The Minot team only had one loss throughout the entire season. Um, they were a powerhouse and so you came in as underdogs and they really stepped up their play to take home this national championship. Nine of the team's veteran players are graduating and leaving the team for good. Oh, I'm retiring. <laughs> She's retired. She's all done. There was Best her last way to year, end so. my career ever. Yeah. I'm so happy. Like This has been an unbelievable experience. This is my last year, and I couldn't have thought of a better way to end it, honestly. like I just love the team so much, and I'm so happy that we finally got this. We deserved it so much. Day five of the ACHA Division II National Women's Championships is over. The ACC Cougars complete the Cinderella story and go 5-0 in the tournament to win their first national championship. The Interactive Media Arts Program would like to extend a thank you to ACC President Mark Frizon for sending our crew out here to cover the tournament. Thanks a lot once again to everyone watching at home and all of those who supported us on our week-long journey. Once again, for the ACC Cougars update, I'm Tyler Crivier.